Hi guys, welcome back to SG Doctor Wellness. I'm Dr. Chen Yi Ming, and today I'll be sharing about a very, very itchy and irritating condition called urticaria or hives. Most of you must have had this before, very itchy bumps on the skin that comes and go and looks like mosquito bites. What are these caused by? What is the treatment? What are the red flags to look out for? So watch till the end, and if you're new to my channel, click on the subscribe button now. What is urticaria or hives? These are itchy raised bumps that can occur on the skin. They can look like individual small bumps like this or may involve large patches of our skin. They are warm and hot and extremely itchy. It may be associated sometimes with swelling of the eyes and lips in what is known as angioedema. On a microscopic level, what happens is that there is a sudden release of large amounts of histamine from our immune cells and that results in a sudden enlargement of small blood vessels within our skin, followed by a rush of fluid out of our vessels into our skin, causing an itchy swelling. Urticaria is very common. About 20% of us would have experienced at least one episode of this at any time of our lives. If these hives are short-lived, they are termed acute urticaria. If they last for more than six weeks, then they are called chronic urticaria. Today, I'll focus more on acute urticarias, which are hives that generally last for days to weeks. In my practice, this is commonly seen more in children. Some of the common causes of acute hives are fever and viral illnesses, reactions to allergens like dust or latex, parasitic infections like mites or scabies or insect bites, physical stimulations like sun exposure or change in temperature from hot to cold or vice versa, less commonly drug or food allergy. And in 15% of the time, we may not be able to identify any cause and that can be very frustrating for the child and parents. The hives come and go and generally disappears within 24 hours, but another batch of hives may appear in the same area or a different area. And this process may repeat itself for many days or weeks. It is so itchy that it may affect sleep and lessons or work. Are there treatments available for hives? Yes, of course. Antihistamines are the main treatment of choice. Some of the drowsy ones are medications like Pyriton, Diphenhydramine, Hydroxazine, or Promethazine. And the non-drowsy ones include Zyrtec, Loratitin, Telfast, or Aries. And in some instances, we may even add in a different class of antihistamine like Renitidine or Cimetidine. Now, if we are able to identify any triggers, the next course of action would be to treat the triggers or to avoid the triggers. So treat the viral infections or avoid the particular drug that may trigger the hives. This will possibly prevent the same thing from happening again. If you have had hives before, keep these medications in your medicine cabinet because hives tend to recur. Now, are there any signs which indicates that these hives may be due to something more sinister? If you notice that each individual hive spot lasts more than 24 hours, or if you notice that they cause bleeding under the skin called pedicae, or if the hives disappear, but leave behind a brownish pigmentation. Then you may need to see a dermatologist for skin biopsy to exclude the possibility of a vasculitis. Otherwise, in the large majority of cases, they are harmless. Thank you for watching till the end. Subscribe and like my channel. I hope this video helps in the treatment of your urticaria. Treatment is generally straightforward and some of the medications are actually available over the counter. So till the next time, stay safe, stay healthy.